is it's Mrs. Ramsdale. I just wanted to go over what you are supposed to be doing today. So um, Mrs. Harmon should have given you a packet about whale migration. Uh, you're probably thinking, why are we talking about whales? But you will see on page three that there will be a graph about whale speed. And that is why you are doing a migration packet. Uh, you will need to log into your Google Classroom. Once you log into your Google Classroom, you will click on Migration Packet. So hopefully you have your packet. If not, please pause and ask Mrs. Harmon to pass out the packet. I would like for you to be looking at the packet as I go over each page. So please look at page one. Page one, you will use link one to answer the questions. All you are doing is watching a migration video and it's only four minutes long and you will be hearing about the three animals that migrate. Please remember to pause your video when you need to write. You may rewind, you may rewatch um, just to get your answers. Your answers do not have to be in complete sentences. Please just make sure that you write neatly and you can use the bullet formatting. Once you're done with page one, you will move on to page two. You will see a small squiggle line at the top. Anything above that, I'm calling the top part. What I want you to do is I want you to log into Edpuzzle. Once you log into Edpuzzle, you are going to watch a migration video. The migration video will be there in just a few minutes. Let's see here. Uh, oh, you know what? It's not going to assign until later this morning. So I will um, show you what it looks like though. It looks like this. Oh, stop. Sorry, my dog just hit my head. Stop, dude. It will look like this. Whale Migration Marathon. Um, that will be the video that you watch. You will watch that. You will answer the questions. Yes, your goal is to earn a 70% or higher. Once you complete that top part, you are going to move on to page three. Page three is a whale migration graph. Um, this is where you're going to be applying the knowledge um, on setting up, creating, and interpreting graphs. Mrs. Harmon can help you set up the graphs. This is the only page that will be homework tonight if you do not get it finished. Just this page, page three. You will need to read carefully. Um, if you have questions, ask Mrs. Harmon. Now flip back to page two. At the bottom part of the squiggle, you will complete the chart. You will need to use the link to right here. You will also need to use the magic Google bar. Now, what you have here on this website you will scroll down. It will talk to you about migration. It will talk to you about where they migrate. Do all whale, whales migrate? And then it talks right here about four different types of whales. Those are the whales that you need to be answering the questions and filling out the um, table. Um, when you get to the other sections, you will need to use the magic Google bar. And all you need to do is up here in the magic Google bar is type the question that you are looking for. Um, and then no, you don't need to use complete sentences. You are just going to use uh, bullets or sentence fragments that have the details. When you're done, if you get through that, you will move on to page four. The, um, go ahead and flip to page four. Page four is a Venn diagram. You will choose two of the whales from uh, page two, if you would like. That's the easiest way to do it. So you would choose 
between these four whales to compare. But this is where your magic Google bar will come into um, and, and, and to play. You will want to research not just these information, but other information. Um, and here's what a cheese answer might be. Um, if you're comparing a gray whale to a blue whale, that you might say that one whale is gray, one whale is blue. That is a cheese answer. Um, another cheese answer would be that they're both whales. Okay, I need you to look a little deeper. Your research should be a little bit um, more detailed. Uh, talk about their diet. Talk about their size. Talk about um, where they migrate to. Talk about um, maybe how many um, how many babies they have. Where you know those type of things are the um, is the information that I'm looking for. I don't want to know just that one is blue, one is gray. Um, again, you do not need to do uh, complete sentences on the Venn diagram. You just need to um, do bullets. But please make sure on your Venn diagram that the sides match. This is a review from fifth grade. I know that the ELA teachers stressed this, that if for number one you're talking about their diet, then on number one of the opposite, you also need to talk about their diet. Um, if you have any questions, you may ask Mrs. Harmon. If Mrs. Harmon does not know the answer, um, then you can skip it. However, I think you guys should be good for the day. Um, if you do not get through all of this, because I know classes are shortened, that is fine. Please remember page three is the only page that I'm expecting to be done for tomorrow. Also, your uh, story motion graph needs to be completed tomorrow. Your story motion graph, um, I sent you an email. If you did not check your email, please check your email at this time. Guys, be good. Mrs. Harmon's amazing. Um, good luck on your iReady, and I will see you tomorrow.